Free Comic Book Day is a day every May where you have comic book stores giving out marked up items. And this year I decided to participate in it. I'm not a big comic book guy. I'm more of a film, TV, video games kind of person. And I found some really interesting stuff. Some really cool stuff that's coming out this year from the $1 issue bin and from just the free items they were having. And I wanted to take a look at a few of the things I saw. All right, first on our list is Descender. This is a comic by Jeff Lumire and uh, Dustin Nguyen. It follows the lives of a scientist who fell from grace and an orphan android who's been abandoned for 10 years. The comic is a short tease for the actual concept, but it gives you a decent idea of the alien species, nation states, and politics of the world around the comic. If I could make a parallel to anything, it'd be Mass Effect with maybe a little bit of dead space thrown in there for good measure. The art style is absolutely gorgeous and incorporates watercolor and soft shading to make something that looks unique. If anyone can give me some leads to any other issues, uh, I got this as $1 first issue that they were doing for comic book day and uh, I haven't been able to find anything since, so if you have any leads, please let me know. This is amazing and I highly recommend it. All right, next up we have The Wicked, The Divine. This is another one of the image firsts I got. It follows a teen fan of a music sensation and how she gets caught up into her personal life with the help of her manager, Lucifer. Oh man, that's a on the nose name there. If you like Scott Pilgrim or Teen Titans, this is gonna be right up your alley. It's got a lot of cool themes on uh, identity and youth and uh, you know, the weird inner workings of the music industry. In fact, I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought the first graphic novel, and let me tell you, that was a worthy investment. All right, the next comic we're gonna look at is Barrier. This was one of the free options on the free comic book day. Uh, the series launches in May. Stylistically, this was the coolest comic I had picked up. You're looking at the comic up and down. Like you're not going left or right, you're going up and down. And that threw me for a loop. It deals with a lot of heavy issues on immigration and race with it taking place in both North and Central America. The story follows Liddy, a wrangler from Bar, Texas, and Oscar, a man trying to head to America from San Pedro, Sula, Honduras. The comic deals with an alien invasion, but the first issue doesn't necessarily dive into that too much. It prefers to let Oscar and Liddy talk in their native tongues, which, you know, it could be a deal breaker if you don't know Spanish in at least a conversational form. But I think the topics and the writing are so good on this one that you would do yourself a big favor in brushing up on your conversational Spanish for this one. Next up, we have the coming of age story, The Mall. This is a crime thriller slash teen drama, which is very strange because, you know, you don't think those things would mix but the story on this one's a bit generic. You got a nerdy boy who falls in love with a girl, the jock gets in the way, the girl agrees to go out with the nerd to make the jock jealous, and then the nerd wins the girl. It's, it's Spider-Man, but it's the mafia. Despite these concerns, it's fun, well-paced, and very well-written. I probably am gonna read a little bit more of this one. Next up, we've got Black Magic. This is the story of a private eye slash witch and it's a very funny and very disturbing comic. I've heard very good things about this series and I plan to move on, but this is not one for the faint of heart. The hostage negotiation in this particular issue, oof, oof. This guy seems like a lot of sociopaths out there now, so uh, it, it hit a little too close to home, uh, but that's part of what made this a compelling read. All right, next up we have the Starburns Industries Sampler. This sampler is the first comic book release for Starburns Industries, home of Moral Oral, Rick and Morty, and the podcast network formerly known as Feral Audio. The sampler's got four previews of new comic book series with two really cool standouts in Comic Comics and Gregory Graves. The former is a Sunday paper type cartoon, but it's got a lot of cool stories from individual comics. This one in particular was written by Patton Oswalt. It's about the Sunset Strip and how, you know, everyday people can be superheroes. And then the next one was Gregory Graves. It was a cool superhero comic by Dan Harmon and Eric Esquivel that mixes journalism and superheroes in a very unique and cool way. Esquivel is also a journalist when he's not writing comic books, so it dives a lot into some of his former work. Um, 
all in all, I'm really excited for those two. The other two comics, Oddwell and Hellicious, they look cool. The stories weren't as great, but I loved the artwork on both of those. And honestly, I'm really excited to see what Starburns does next. And finally, we've got Relay. Um, this was my least favorite out of the ones that I read, mostly because it's got this strange colonialism parallel that seems a little bit white savior-y. Like, he doesn't listen to this guy and then the two tribes start fighting and he moves on. The story is very highly derivative of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, there's a monolith here and everyone's evolving into a higher species, but it doesn't do it in a creative way. It's just, oh, here, here are these monoliths. They're popping up everywhere. And it's not creative or unique in any way at that point. I don't think I'm gonna continue on this one. It just wasn't that good. Okay, and that's gonna do it for me. Um, if you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like me to do, uh, leave them in the description below. Also, tell me what stuff you got for free comic book day and what pickups you thought were the most interesting. Um, you know, I like starting a conversation about that kind of thing. All right, cool. I will check you later. Ooh, that looks way too Guy Fieri. God. Mm. Mm. Mm.